Hello? Hi there. My name is Dr. Biden. I'm calling from Men's Clinic. I was looking to speak with Andrew. Uh, this is Andrew. Andrew, how are you doing today? I am doing very well. And yourself? Not too bad. Thank you for asking. So I know you were in here not too long ago, and I think you met with a colleague of mine, Dr. Oh, yes. Yeah, I, I did see Dr. recently. Well, he and I were talking, and he shared with me some of the results from your appointment, and it sounds like things are really not working very well for you down there. Uh, <laughs> w what do you mean, not working for me? Well, I mean, everything down below is not up to form. You mean ED? Erectile dysfunction, yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's what I'm calling you. He told me all about how limp you were, and I wanted to call and have a chat with you, too. A limp? I mean, it's... Is that a new medical term? Well, we like to keep things kind of light and casual. I don't want to bore you with all the medical terms. You know. Well, okay. Uh, I'm a little shocked about this, but uh, well, should... yeah. So, what else did uh, Doctor tell you, or you've discovered uh, well, in, in the meantime? Here's what we discovered. And it's kind of exciting. Uh, it turns out that since we opened our clinic over 15 years ago, out of all of our patients, you are the limpest we've ever had. <laughs> Come on, you're kidding me. The limpest? You are a 97 on the limp scale. Most people don't even reach the 60s. So you are super limp. Super limp? Yeah. That doesn't sound very professional to me. Uh, well, okay. I, I apologize if the language is offending you. Like I said, I like to keep things sort of light. And listen, I wouldn't be concerned with how limp you are. I saw a picture of your wife on Facebook, and she didn't get me going. What? Yeah. She didn't. She didn't give me that's, that's it. That's terrible. I <laughs> know my wife. That's well, I don't. It's an, it has nothing to do with with my condition. It's an erectile dysfunction joke. I love to kid. I didn't even look up your wife on Facebook. I don't know. <laughs> I really don't appreciate your humor. You know, you're you're not a comic. You're a professional. I wish you wouldn't make jokes. Oh um, well, I apologize. Uh huh. Just get to the point. Okay, I will. Um, listen, because of your landmark limp status, I told a few of my other colleagues, and they would like to do a web forum about it. That's why I'm calling today. A web forum? Yes, it would be called The Man with the Unhappiest P*** in the World. It's pretty good marketing, if I do say so myself. Is this another one of your jokes? No, not at all. I think people would watch. We could even broadcast it on YouTube and sell some ads for it if you're in. There's a potential money-making opportunity for you. You know, I'm, I'm opposed to this idea, and I don't want my condition, my ED condition, made public in this way. Okay, I'm really well, opposed to this. Well, unfortunately, it's kind of already out there, so we sort of need to grab the bull by the horns. <laughs> Another joke? No, 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 no. That was... It was not a joke. You know, it's just that more humor. We, we, I, I don't. I really no. don't appreciate your humor, doctor. Well, well, no, no. I wasn't joking though. Your limpness was so impressive that we had to publish the findings in a medical journal, and your name is all over that article. So it's sort of already out there. What? Yeah, we went ahead and published that whole article, and you know how the media can be. I've I've already gotten a few phone calls today from people asking for interviews. So this is outrageous. You didn't even get my permission to do this. You know, if you want my advice, I know you sound upset. I am upset. And I can pick up on that. If you want my advice, I think you just need to embrace the limp. What are you talking about? You could be the new face of ED all over the world. I don't want to be the face of ED all over the world, doctor. Well, no way. I think you just need to embrace the limp. Like I said, embrace the limp. You embrace the limp. I don't want my face all over the place, okay. you well, know? I'd love to embrace the limp, but I can't. I mean, I am healthy down there. I mean... Well, good for you. I've got one right now, so... That's disgusting. I agree. I can't seem to get rid of this. You, We have opposite problems. Well, thanks a lot. Thanks for putting that in my face. Okay. <laughs> I haven't done that yet. But... Yeah, I hope you don't. <laughs> I don't plan on it because this is actually a prank phone call. You're not funny. You're not a comedian. You're a physician. No, no, I'm not at all. But I am a comedian, and your buddy Fred thinks I'm funny. What? Well, this is actually Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your friend Fred set you up. Oh, oh he did, did he? Y yes, it's a joke. Oh, my God. He told me what's been going on with you and said that you guys have been joking around about it non-